Welcome to Special Stage Extra and welcome to round two of the Welsh Rally Championship. It's the mid Wales stages and with Luke Francis's perfect start last time out of the season opener, the Cambrian, he's not here to pick up more championship points. Dylan Davies off the start line as the cars get ready for the first stages of the day. Let's join him now for all the action in these Welsh forests. Unfortunately, it will be a mixed start for Paul Davey and Roger Allen. They lead after stage one, but that would all come to an end on the very next stage of the day when the pair end up in a ditch. So that means that it would be the lead at the end of stage two for Dylan Davies and Cleon Williams. They needed the points this weekend to make up for their bad start to the season. You'll have your eyes on those maximum points today, Dylan. Yeah, take advantage of Luke not being here, I think, today. Yeah. But yeah, we were pretty slow in the first one, but it's really dodgy. Yeah, yeah. I've spun on the first one, just got a bit too excited, I think, hoping that we we're going to get good points. But yeah, just try and cool down a bit and finish. Because okay. I think a lot of people aren't going to finish. <laughs> It's a good start for Andy Davies and Max Freeman. They reached the end of stage two with second place. Going well, but the car was quite literally on fire at the time control after we spoke to the pair. Thankfully, only briefly due to a loss of power steering fluid in stage two. How was stage two? Slippy. Yeah. Not as slippy as stage one, though. The attrition rate is going to be quite high today, we're hearing. Yeah, really, really tough. I've never driven in anything like this before. It's the first time for me and I've never done the event before, so massive learning curve. Tim Green and Rob Smith would be one of many to take it easy, ensuring they don't become another casualty at the conditions. They reach service with the final step of the podium within their sights. Interesting couple of stages. Yeah, very interesting. Such changeable conditions. You know, you're starting off and it's quite warm down here. You get up the top and it's not just broken snow. It's actually quite hard packed snow and it's caught quite a lot of the, uh, the teams out. I think the trouble is that the, the recce was done in quite uh, icy conditions, they've made their notes and it's just completely changed, but um, good calm run around for us <laughs> for, so far. <laughs> Boyd Kershaw and Brian Hull bring the new car out this weekend. And they were not overly happy with the pace, but they would in fact be fourth place at this stage and going well. The new car looks fantastic, Boyd, how is it? Oh, I'm all over the place, I've just um, oh no, just got to get used to it really. Yeah. It's um, just totally different, the characteristics totally different to my white car. and. Um, I just, I was just driving like a right idiot, very poor, so, uh, but you know, we'll get better and better. Sadly, we lose Tim Keynes and Richard May. They blow the engine on the Peugeot in stage two after lying in fifth place. Which means that for Martin and Dawn England, it would be that fifth place now, but frustratingly, they would retire in service going no further. Slippery would be the theme for all crews today, but Wurgutting and Dan Niroda would be one of the few to be enjoying it. They lie in sixth place and set to inherit a place in the following stage. Two down, how's it gone? <laughs> two down, two down, another, uh, oh, I'll come in here, there are to go, but uh, yeah, that's um, fairly sideways in there. Shame to see so many other cars off, and uh, but great to see that nobody's hurt. They're all kind of smiling on the side of the stage, holding out the OK boards. But uh, yeah, it's a bit, um, it's consistently slippery, except where you're not expecting it to be slippery, and that's when it catches you out. But uh, it's very similar to GB, um, deja vu almost. Craig Golder and John Kane, meanwhile, would be another crew enjoying the stages finding the first of the two a little worse, but making it through to take seventh place on the leaderboard for now. How is it in there, Craig? Uh, it's very fast, a bit slippy in places, mine. It catches you out, especially the first stage. We had proper some Welsh forest. Big moments, proper Welsh rallying. Fantastic. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. And it's survival for Andrew Jones and Yeston Williams, just like many others. They end this stage in eighth place, looking to gain some good points from this round. Is it just about getting through those stages for you today? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's unbelievably slippy. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. So Making the most of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yes. trying to get us to finish, so. Simon Thomas and Mark Williams would be passing the many stricken cars in the stage and being thankful just to reach the end. They lie in ninth place overall for now. <laughs> Two stages in, are you happy? Yeah, it's not too bad. Just taking our time a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of cars off, but uh, we're still going. And rounding out the top 10 were Andy Williams and Andy Darlington. Although a small off in the stage, he's had lost the pair a little time on the overall leaderboard. 
Just a drive in the park. You could say that. <laughs> Slippery. We went off on stage one, dropped 20, 30 seconds, but had a good run in that one. Very fast, very slippy. Whew. <laughs> Outside the top 10, it will be 11th place for Owl Davies and Richard Crozier, just six seconds behind Williams at this stage. Sean Ellis and Siobhan Pugh will be looking for some good points in the class this weekend. They lie in 12th place for now, second in class six. Meanwhile, things were not going to plan for Mark Worley and Hamish Campbell, 13th place for the pair when they should have been well inside the top 10. And it will be a cautious run for Nev Jones and Chris Davies too. They end this pair of stages with 14th place, third in class six. For Robert Bradley and Sean Hughes, it will be fourth in that class, but they had almost a minute to make up if they were to catch Jones. And sadly for Colin and Martin Griffiths, it will be 16th place. It could have been better, but a two minute penalty for an early arrival would ruin their overall times. So at the end of the morning loop, it's the lead for Dylan Davies with plenty of drama out there on the Mid Wales stages. Only two stages in then to this second round of the Welsh Rally Championship, the Mid Wales stages, and we're hearing that the attrition rate in those stages is very high. The talk, as you might expect with the weather the last couple of days, is the conditions on the stages. It could be a challenging but an opportunistic day for many of the Welsh crews. On to the afternoon stages then, and unfortunately problems for Boyd Kershaw and Brian Hull mean that they slip down the results to 15th on the overall leaderboard. That means that even with the time penalty, Colin and Martin Griffiths manage to not finish last. They take 14th place at the end of the event. For Robert Bradley and Sean Hughes, it will be third place in class six. The points would kickstart their championship campaign. And for Nev Jones and Chris Davies, it will be second in that class. The stages were slippery all day, so it would be a relief just to get to the finish. And taking the class win this weekend was Sean Ellis and Siobhan Pugh. The result putting them in the lead of the class six standings after round two. Not the best days rallying for Mark Worley and Hamish Campbell, but they do manage a top 10 finish by rounding out our top 10 here at the Mid Wales stages. Arwell Davies and Richard Crozier make a good impression on their first round of the 2016 season. They end the rally with ninth place on the leaderboard, second in the class. And for Andy Williams and Andy Darlington, it was a finish just outside the top of the Class 8 battle. They finished with 4th in the class and 8th place overall. For Simon Thomas and Mark Williams, it would be 3rd in the class, a result putting them in the lead of that class after two rounds of the championship. Meanwhile, for Andrew Jones and Yestin Williams, it would be victory in Class 5. They end the event with 6th place on the leaderboard and a result that sees them take the lead in the championship overall. Tim Green and Rob Smith end the rally with third in the N4 class. Some good points, but this being the first round for the pair means that they are still playing catch up in the points department. The same could be said as well for Craig Golder and John Kane. They take second place in class eight, fourth place on the overall leaderboard. A good end to their first round of the season. And there's some places gained through the afternoon stages for Wurgutting and Dan Niroda. They take second place in the N4 class and the final step on the podium here at round two. Problems in the final stages for Andy Davies and Max Freeman when they bend the steering in stage three, getting a puncture through the following stage, but that didn't stop the pair from taking second place overall today. But for Dylan Davies and Cleon Williams, it would be the win. It wasn't without its problems to start with, but they get through to take victory here at round two, putting themselves second in the championship standings. So with the final stage complete, the results at the end of the Midwell stages look like this. Dylan, Cleon, what a fantastic round for you. Yeah, we've had a good day. We've had a really good day, to be honest. We haven't broken anything and we've won, so it's good. It is maximum points and you had to make the most of the advantage, of course, of Luke not being here because he scored maximum round one. Yeah, but we've had a 
bit of a disaster start of the season, to be honest, between the Cameron and the Red Kites, but it's nice to get a finish. As far as the Welsh Championship goes, though, this is a campaign fully on track now, isn't it? Yeah, it's helped us a lot today with Luke not being here, so he's done us a big favour. We'll see you next time out. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Andy, Max, long day, tough conditions. The Welsh Forest threw everything that they could at you, but what a good result. Yeah, we were chuffed to bits, really. Just to get to the finish is uh, brilliant. It's, it's one of those things you either want really tough competition or you want really tough conditions so that the result is totally credible. You've had both of those today. Oh, yeah, definitely. We've had uh, some big moments in the, the big bus drifting round and uh, a puncture on the last stage as well, so really challenging. And fighting as well, weren't you? This was not um, clear-cut. You didn't see this coming. No, not at all. I mean, after we had we, had a, we come out of stage two with a fire, um, the power steering hose blew and we thought sort of game over, but between us we managed to sort of cobble it together, back to service and uh, get her back out and... Yeah, bring it home in one piece. I'm sure there's something in there poetic about being on fire. Either way, brilliant result. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. Work, Dan, I think the phrase earlier, which I quite liked, was consistently slippery. Uh, definitely, yes. Yes, I mean, it, it looked the same colour as ice cream, but it was slippery, I can yeah. tell you that. Uh, on top of Pike's Peak, it was more slippery than we expected, but one drove to the conditions. Um, unfortunately, some of those didn't, but uh, they, will, they will come home safely. Uh, but it was a lot of fun out there today, it really was. And congratulations to the organisers for putting together a nice bit of compact route out there. Mm. You know, in, that, in, the, in those two complexes, it, it really worked well. A uh, bit of a run out and back, but um, that's part of rallying. It certainly is. Danny says he drove to the conditions, but at times I saw you going a little bit sideways. When you're fighting for points, when you're putting a championship campaign together, it's not just about driving to the conditions. You maybe have to push that sometimes. Yeah, you've got to push yourself in. You know, it's it's difficult. There's some areas that you think it looks absolutely fine and turns out you're coming into corners sideways and things. Um, but no, it's it's been a good day, some good giggles. And fair play to the spectators as well as the organisers. There were some pretty nice snowmen at the top of Bikes Peak. <laughs> you wonder what I was going to say then, I did. Congratulations, guys, that's a great result. <laughs> yeah, I'll I tell you what, had I known the snowmen are there, I'd have taken another two seconds out of my time and sideswiped them just for the hell of it. If you want to be the best rally driver in Wales, you have to take everything that the Welsh forests can throw at you. And these guys have certainly done that today. Dylan Davies gets his championship campaign off on the right foot. The fights will continue next time out of Rally North Wales. We'll see you there. For now, though, that's it from Newtown. More special stage extra next.